Growing fears and warnings at the southern border. Officials say members of the Venezuelan Trende Aragua gang are able to enter the U.S. largely because the government cannot track criminal records in Venezuela, making it easier for them to blend in with other migrants who are crossing. But the gang's presence has been felt far beyond the state of Texas, with ties to violent crimes like murder and drug and human trafficking nationwide. So let's bring in News Nation border correspondent Ali Bradley, who is live in Del Rio, Texas. And Ali, members of this gang have been confirmed in many other areas of the country. Yeah, Nicole, it's actually the fastest growing transnational criminal organization and it's gaining a foothold here in the United States to the tune of more than 32 percent of their presence is already being felt there in the U.S. So let's show you this map. This is the breakdown of where we know that this Venezuelan gang, Trende Aragua, is present. According to arrest reports, crimes from robbery to murder have been committed by these gang members in at least 15 states and Washington, D.C. So the Border Patrol Union, though, says it's even more. They, they're saying they're present in nearly half of the nation and says, unfortunately, they're finding out that the gang status is is present after these individuals commit crimes because they come in without criminal history in the United States and countries like Venezuela don't give us access to those criminal databases. Take a listen to what Paul Perez had to say. Well over a million Venezuelans have been released into this country on parole or for NTAs. They are not going to show up for their hearings. The ones that we've apprehended are the ones that we've actually tied to TDA are the ones that have been apprehended for committing crimes. So there are many more out there. They're operating in almost half of the United States that we know of right now. Wherever there's going to be Venezuelans, we're going to find TDA members because they're hiding. And we have no way of vetting them because Venezuela doesn't cooperate in that way. And, you know, it's scary here, too, Nicole, because Paul and other agents I talked to say that these Venezuelan gang members are actually coming in with these big groups, these family groups, kind of using them as a Trojan horse in order to get into the United States. So for some perspective on just who these guys are, Representative Tony Gonzalez, who represents much of Texas's southern border, says that this gang, Trende Aragua, makes MS-13 look like babies. Trende Aragua is a prison gang that started back in 2014 in Venezuela. Nicole. So, Ali, how are border communities preparing or responding to all of this? Yeah, it's prepare for just about anything, right? Texas, when it comes to what the Lone Star State is doing, Governor Greg Abbott has already designated Trende Aragua as a terrorist organization and has actually demanded that Vice President Kamala Harris do the same, designate them as a terrorist group. So when it comes to those uh, preparations that they're making here in the state of Texas, despite the efforts under Governor Abbott's Operation Lone Star, people are still coming in. So looking at your screen right now, that is very recent video out of Eagle Pass, just outside of Shelby Park. Park, where a group of nearly 200 had crossed into the United States illegally. So what they're dealing with right now is Texas military has actually been using pepper ball to work and deter these large groups at the river's edge. Despite the traffic, though, Texas says it is remaining at the ready for anything. Take a listen. It's a success. And we're, you know, our troopers are ready. Our soldiers are ready. Uh, we have been in a proactive, you know, phase. You know, even, even when crossings were down in this area, um, over 87 percent, we're still in a proactive phase, meaning that we're not going to stop what we're doing. We're not going to stop, you know, reinforcing areas that we see that are vulnerable to potential legal crossings. And we're going to continue that moving forward. And it's that proactive stance that Texas has maintained because we were actually there when the governor was making their forward operating base that's going to hold up to 2,300 soldiers. That opened to about 300 soldiers back in May. We were there for that construction of that base. Now, uh, when it comes to what Governor Abbott is doing here, Nicole, really interesting because he just reissued a disaster proclamation when it comes to the southern border on Friday. He added some additional counties there, but just really doubling down that the crisis is still happening at the southern border and Texas is still at the front lines of that fight. Nicole. All right, Allie Bradley, live for us there in Del Rio. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your screen. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.